What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen, and I am super excited. My excitement level normally is around about here, but for this box, it's up here. You can't even see it, it's that high. <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm unboxing the return of Click Crates. This is the Click Crates Classic Box. So Click Crates have returned. They're back to doing monthly boxes. And not only that, they come back with several boxes. They've got a mini box for, I think it's about £10. I'll leave the prices up on the screen. They've got like a mini box. They have a classic box, which I've gone for. They have a premium box. And they have a pop and t-shirt box. This is the classic box, which I believe is £19.99. I should really check the prices before I started filming this. But I am so excited with the return of click rates. I couldn't wait to look it up. So prices on screen. Referral links, affiliate links. In fact, I don't have a referral link for this yet. So just, just a link for the website for this down in the description down below, along with the other affiliate links. There's no themes. There's just a box full of awesome geeky goodies. Let's crack this open and see what we got. This is it's actually May's box. They had a little bit of delay. They wanted to start this off at the beginning of the month and then start the next month off, but they had a bit of a delay. It's actually May's box. I think I'll still label this as May. I'm not too sure what's happening, but let's open this up and see what we got. If you're wondering why I'm so excited, it's because I used to be subscribed to Click Rates before. They were one of my favorite sub boxes out of them all. Now this is what it looks like inside. Well, I can see a Funko Pop straight away. Oh, awesome. Do you know what? When I looked at it on the camera there for a second, I thought it was going to be the um, like Callum Lynch one from Assassin's Creed, for some reason, but my mind went blank. Assassin's Creed, I was like, oh, that's a common pop, I can't be an M. But it's not. It is Sirius Black from Harry Potter, number 16. I have just seen somebody else unbox this in a pop and t-shirt box from these guys. And I thought, oh, that's a nice pop. I like that. And I am really happy to add this to my collection. I haven't got this pop yet. I've only got a few Harry Potter pops. I've only got two. I only have two Harry Potter pops. How is that possible? I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but mystery boxes, you get what comes. I really like that. There is Sirius Black. I'll probably do a separate video where I take him out of the box and you have a closer look at him. But you can see the detail on him there. It's absolutely amazing. These newer Funko Pops, he looks so good. These newer Funko Pops are really, really awesome. Absolutely amazing character and amazing actor as well. Serious Black. I am so happy to add that Funko Pop to my collection. But let's move on and get this box opened. Oh, there is, I said, oh, because there is a comic. So Marvel Legacy, backed and boarded. That's the way I like to see my comics. Not just put in a box loose. Protected. Backed and boarded. But this is Marvel Legacy, Silver and Bold, part one off one. Ooh, Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. I haven't read this. Ow. I said ow because I just ran up managed to run over my toe on my chair somehow. <laughs> Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. Okay. I don't know who this is. Not really too much. I don't really know too much about Marvel of Monosphere. Apart from the MCU. Let's have a little look at this, shall we? Let's have a a little sneak peek, choose a page. We'll go for this page. That's nice. Um, I will read that and see what it's like. I'm happy that it's back to border. I wish every box that includes a comic would do this with comics because that's how I like my comics. I like to keep them all back to border in there. I've got a few that are loose now 
and it just means I've got to go out of my way to buy these and back in. Whereas if I'm in a comic shop, I just buy them backed and boarded. Or ask them to put it in there for me. But oh my goodness! So there is three items in here. It looks like one is a t-shirt. Let's get the t-shirt out first of all. When it's a Rick and Morty t-shirt, I'm so excited. I love Rick and Morty. Hey, look at me! I'm Mr. Mizix. Hey, look at me! I'm Mr. Mizix. <laughs> oh yeah, let's. Put that recycling to one side for later. This is an official Rick and Morty. Official t-shirt. Oh wow. And this is the angry one. Jerry, what have you done? I can't take you anymore. Existence is pain. <laughs> this is amazing. I like this. I like the Me Seeks episode. It's one of my favourite episodes. Uh, Pickle Rick is the number one episode for me still. <laughs> but I really like this. Absolutely amazing t-shirt. And exclusive. So expensive. Uh, exclusive. Official is the word I'm looking for. Official t-shirt. Official license t-shirt. Pretty expensive. Two more items in here. And you wonder why it's a big box? Because they're big items. So, I'm going to get this one out first of all. This, oh. oh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So, Vinyl Idols, Batman Classic TV Series, number 33, Batgirl. Batgirl! Okay, so who does Batman call when he's in trouble? Batgirl, that's who. She's the right woman for the job. This librarian throws more than the book at Gotham City's goons. Plenty have had their clocks cleaned by this motorcycle riding, fiend fighting female. And she does it all in heels. Vinyl Idols. That's a little blurb on the back there. A little picture of the Vinyl Idol. I haven't seen any Vinyl Idols before. So who is this made by? This is Vinyl Sugar. Makes this. Distributed by Underground Toys. Right, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's not uh, something I'm collecting but currently, Vinyl Idols. But it is a very nice figure in a very nice display box as well. I like it when they're in display boxes like the Funko Pops are in. Like this. So you can just put that in the box on display. i keep that to one side. I'm not sure if I'll keep this in my collection, put it on display somewhere, or if I'll use it as a giveaway item. I'm really unsure at the moment. I'll probably keep it for a while and make my mind up. But that is an awesome item as well. This box is good. There's one more mahusive item in this box. Oh, right, okay. I was just like, there's nothing in there. Let me just show you what this is. This is a Marvel Venom Money. I almost threw it away. And it is a create your own superhero. So as you can see, it's plain in there. I'm not sure if you've seen these monies before. They are very much a, not. this is a big, big size one. They're normally like Funko Pop size ones, the mini ones I've seen. Funko Pop size, but they look like a mixture between a Dorbs and a Funko Pop. They have these little Lego hands. So look at the back there. For example, here's some of the heroes. It's all the same sort of hands, the Lego hands, the faces, they all look exactly the same. And this is a Venom one, but it's a create your own. I will get this out of the box because you can't really see it very well in there. You kind of see it there. I will take this one out of the box here. Let me get this empty box out of the way. Yeah, the Dragon Sword. As this is taped on the bottom. is distributed by Kid Robot. I'm going for the bottom so I don't damage it. It's kind of like Funko Pops, they go through the bottom. Oh, put that box to one side. There's some sort of instructions. What is it? Oh, stickers. That's kind of a bit weird. So there's these stickers. These are, they might just look like a print, but these are actually stickers that come off. Oh, almost dropped them off. So there's some stickers you can put on there as well. 
And here he is. I'm not sure what this tool is. It looks like a hammer. Or a pickaxe. Something that goes in his hand, I think, anyway. Let's get... Oh, oh no. This mould, this is fitted really well. Oh, I am afraid that if I take this out of here, I'm going to have to break this to get it out. I'll keep him in this packaging for now, because I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. This is what he looks like. He's a giant money. Money. Uh, and as it's designed your own... Anyway, let me just... That's what that looks like in his hand. Oh, I suppose because it's create your own, you could create Thor, maybe? So they give him a little accessory of Thor's hammer, possibly? I wish I was artistic enough to draw on these things, or to paint on them and make it look like something, but I am not. There is a local artist in one of my local geeky shops, Geek, Geek Tree, I saw in there doing a lot of painting. He sits in the shop, uh, he paints some things, and he does some some models, maybe he will be the person for me to bring us to, he can uh, paint it for me. But I quite like that, I think I would, I think I like the fact more that it is a design your own than it, if it was one already done actually, because they're not something I normally go for. This is a very, very large size as you can see. Not something I would normally go for myself, but I'm quite impressed, I quite like this. But let's have a quick recap of all of these items we've got in this box and then we will talk prices and we will talk about the items. Mr. Meeseeks Rick and Morty t-shirt. Batgirl Vinyl Idols. Marvel Legacy Silver Sable and the Wild Pack comic book. Sirius Black Funko Pop. Marvel Venom Money, Muni. How do you pronounce these things? Let me know in a comment down below. <laughs> Create your own superhero. And that is all the items in this month's box. Now, I looked at the prices quickly to so remind myself, click crates, this is a classic click crate and it is £19.99. There's mini crate for £9.99, classic for £19.99, premium for £39.99, and then a pop and t-shirt crate for £14.99. I'm happy with my value of this. I spent £20 on a box. I got an official licensed t-shirt, so official licensed, you can't even see it, I've got that much stuff. Here he is. So, official licensed t-shirts, as it's official, I'm gonna go ahead and say 15 pound. So, official t-shirt, I'll rate between 15 to 20 pound, depending on design. I would say, yeah, 15 pound is about right for that. So, 15 pound for the t-shirt. Serious Black Funko Pop. I have not seen this. It's not a Funko Pop that I've seen in the lower price range. I've not one of the ones that I've seen in a cheap shop like B&M. So it's not going to be a five pound mark. Normally, so it'd be anything between five to ten pound. I'm just going to rate it at ten pound because that's a standard sort of price for a pop. You'll probably get it cheaper on eBay if you want to risk that. But most places you get about ten pound. Pop in a box subscriptions, for example, you can get this. Uh, if you're a pop shop subscriber, you get ten percent discount. So you get it for about. £8.50 I think it is. But then you pay shipping as well. So £10 is about right for a Funko Pop. I'm going to call that £10. That is £25 worth of value. Comics. Uh, now that's an older comic. One that's already been out. Um, you're going to pay a couple of pounds. You'll end up paying two or three pounds. Or I say one or two pounds really depending on the day you go there. Let's just say two pounds for a comic. That's going to be the cheapest price you're going to pay for it. So you're looking at... 25 to 27 pound this vinyl idol i have not seen one of these before i'm going to assume that this is quite expensive because i size this as well i'm going to assume this is about a 10 pound to 15 pound mark it's probably a lot more expensive than that when you go to amazon or something like that so i'm just going to price prices at 10 pound for now so that would be 37 pound this venom money uni i don't know how to pronounce it i don't even know how much the price is for I've seen like minia ones, minia, <laughs> mini monies, and they go for about ten pound. This is like twice the size or three times the size of the ones I normally see. I'm going to assume something like this is going to go for about twenty pound, maybe more, twenty five pound. Let's just price it at the low range to be safe at twenty pound. 
£57 worth of value from a £20 box. Click rates is back! Yay! I love click rates and I think I've definitely got my value. I don't think there's another sub box out there that does as good a value as click rates does. It is hit and miss whether or not you like the items, but that's the mystery box game. I absolutely love these items. Uh, like I say, the, the money and the final idols, probably not something that I would collect myself personally, but they are awesome items. You cannot deny that. And uh, I'm really happy with the value of this box. I'm really happy with this box. I'm very, very tempted to upgrade my subscription to the premium edition because I would love to see what you get for the premium price because this, to me, would have been a premium box. It's that good. But I'm interested in your thoughts. Comment down below. Let me know. What do you think of click rates? What do you think of this box? Did you get click rates? Which box or which subscription service did you go for? Let me know all your click crates comments in the description down below in the description in the comments down below. If you enjoyed my video, feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like my video, then yeah, just leave me a thumbs down. It's fine. No, no, go on. It's cool. Don't worry about it. It's good. <laughs> but if you're new here, want to subscribe down below. Whilst you're there, smash that bell icon to be notified each and every time I upload and come and help support my channel by checking out my Patreon page. You can become a Patreon from as little as $1 a month and that will gain you access to Patreon only videos. And once we hit the Patreon goal of 10 Patreons, we will start doing regular monthly giveaways of some awesome items over on Patreon. But I'm Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. Until next time, stay awesome.